what's up y'all it's your boy libs i'm back with another video you know what i'm saying today is sunday and i ain't got a whole lot going on this morning i woke up early and i turned my spark on i ain't got nothing else better to do but to go get this money right now so i thought i'd bring y'all along so y'all could see what's going on and give y'all a new some new spark content and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing to my channel and thanks for stopping by uh, if you already subscribe to the channel, we do appreciate the visit. You already know how we do. I'm on my way to pick it up right now. I'm running a little late. Uh, it says pick up at 8.45. It's now 8.46, but we're on our way to go get it, and I'll give you all the details as we get there. I think this is a pretty good order, y'all. I think this is a pretty good one just to start the day off. Uh, we got 6.7 miles, uh, paying $17.12. Uh, I'll let you see the order. I'll put it up on the screen. And I think it's worth it. And it's a great way to start the day. All right, y'all, it's 8.52. I am running late, uh, which is not good, but I'm here. So since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and confirm my arrival. Parking spot. All I'm right, and just like that at 8.55, I'm all loaded up. Let's go ahead and take this customer their food. It's supposed to be delivered by 9.14, so I think we're doing good as far as time is concerned. The customer notes are leave and garage, so we're gonna make sure we leave the food in the garage. Turn right onto Sunset Avenue, then continue straight to stay on Sunset Avenue. Looks like this order is not too far from my house so as soon as i'm done with this order it's going to put me probably five minutes away from where i live so i'll be able to just go right back home and wait on the next order i think that's always a good thing be honest with y'all conscious family i mean you're driving 6.7 miles and you're going to go pick up 17 dollars i mean i could literally do this all day even though i do know that they're not always as good like this but i live in a small town you know what i'm saying and it's not a whole lot of orders that's going to be coming through my phone in this town if i really want to see a bunch of orders i'll go to a bigger town with more than one walmart and, and it's probably going to be more lucrative that day but in this town right here that I live in, it's only one Walmart and um, there's quite a few drivers here. So I pretty much take every order that come through my phone. Uh, even if it doesn't make too much sense, it will put me in the algorithm. So I will accept every order that comes feet, to my turn phone. Right onto East Railroad Street. The purpose of getting up is to get to some money. So, you know, uh, I always look at it like this. A half loaf of bread is better than no bread at all. So Take this the is what I'm out here doing. Railroad Street. We got to get it, y'all. It's supposed to be delivered by 914, so I think we're doing good as far as time is concerned. The customer notes are leave and garage, so we're going to make sure we leave the food in the garage. Okay, y'all, it's 907. I just arrived at the customer's home. Uh, I, I showed up to pick up the groceries about 10 minutes late, which wasn't good, but I had to drop it off by 914. It's 907, so... We still are in the fight. We still ahead of time.
all I did was is I just took the groceries to the garage as they recommended in the uh, customer notes. They, when they give specific notes, you want to make sure you follow those specific notes because um, you want to have a high rating, a five-star rating of being a delivery driver. I thought I was going to mess up the delivery because I was already a late, late for the arrival. Uh, I was supposed to pick it up at 945. I believe I checked in at like 955. So I was already thought that I was doing bad, but uh, it said that the customer wanted the groceries delivered by 9.14 and we dropped them off uh, I forgot what time but it was we were early we were early we were early dropping them off so it's a win-win situation and uh, like I said um, I just wanted to give you guys some content if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing to the channel we do appreciate everyone who's already subscribed to the channel. Thanks for visiting us. Smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate that. That like button helps the video get seen by more people. And that's what we want. We're trying to grow the channel. Uh, we do appreciate the view. That's why we do it for you. And remember, conscious is still a way of life. All right, y'all. I'm back home. I'm back home and I didn't get another order from the last drop till I got home. I decided to show y'all that it's really worth uh, doing these spark deliveries because it allows you to make extra money. When I first started doing this, I had a goal. Uh, my goal was to simply make $400 a month. And in order for me to do that, I just needed to do a delivery for enough to earn $20 a day for five days. You know, five times 20 is $100. So if I could make $100 a week, I would accomplish my goal of 400 a month. So that, that's where my mindset was when I first started doing these deliveries. I'm gonna be honest, ever since I first started, I've been doubling and sometimes tripling that. And uh, you know, I don't, I don't mind showing my earnings uh, just for this week alone. I just completed a $17.10 order. And today is Sunday. Spark ends, the week ends on a Sunday. So I'm, I'm already at $208.54. And that's just for this week alone. So it's been a pretty good week. It's been better than last week. Uh, last week I only made $184.92. Uh, the week before that I made $324.91. So when I, when I say these things, like you're going to pick up groceries and you might have an order that's only seven dollars or eight dollars but pennies make dollars so this is my whole week you know summed up from the app i don't mind showing you guys this uh, i won't do this on every video i just wanted to show you this for viewers that are not familiar with what can happen you have to have your own goals don't expect to get rich from doing spark deliveries but if you have something in mind, maybe you want to plan your vacation. Maybe you wanted to, uh, you know, you have something coming up where you just need some extra money. And I'm sure you guys could find something important to do with a little bit of extra money because it's not a whole lot of money, but it's just enough. So I overseeded my goal. Uh, I doubled my goal last month. So uh, I'm sure you guys have goals as well. And. I'm, I'm quite sure you could find something, a reason where you could use some extra money, something that you could apply that extra money to. You feel me? Peace.